Breaking news today. WikiLeaks Julian Assange just revealed what really happened in Las Vegas and it is bad for the FBI. Julian Assange is back on the scene, and we all know that he doesn't post his subtle tweets without having some serious evidence to back it up. While speculation has run rampant on social media forums as to what actually happened in Las Vegas, we can now be assured that Assange knows something and fully intends on showing us exactly what that something may be. Questions seem to be more abundant than answers this time around, and that is what most likely can attribute to the mass influx of regular people trying to solve the mystery by any means necessary. We have seen things ranging from green aliens to the very same thing that Assange is alluding to. The FBI was responsible. Which is not very far-fetched on the grander scale of things already proven in the past about CIA and FBI involvement with events like this. The average American, however, is becoming more attuned to those very sad realities, and due to that the subgroups won't be able to continue their nefarious works for much longer. When Assange publishes whatever information it is that he surely has, we will know much more than we ever would otherwise. According to AFF. In a pair of tweets that will leave you scratching your head and blinking at the screen, Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, let loose what he really thought about the FBI in the wake of the deadliest mass shooting in American history. His words came as a reply message to another Twitter user that posted about FBI methodologies. The content is alarming and that's partly what is so fascinating about the statement's placement as a reply which was assumedly meant to go largely unnoticed. Assange, who hasn't said anything else about the shooting orchestrated by Stephen Paddock, hasn't tweeted on the topic since and has returned to his regular rant about the Catalonia independence movement. Still, these few words will leave you wondering just how much we have left to learn. Here's what Assange had to say. Almost all terror plots are created by the FBI as part of its business model. What is the business of the FBI? Extracting tax. What does it need to do that? A stable threat. Prob? Real terrorists are sporadic and make FBI look weak. Solution? Make them. Wow. The implications here are rather damning particularly in the aftermath of the Mandalay Bay massacre. Truth be told, the FBI does in fact have a long history of giving mentally deranged individuals weapons and then arresting them for plotting attacks. This is well documented and there is often some news segment discussing the latest sting conducted by federal agents resulting in the arrests of a radical or potential domestic terrorist. In a number of cases, the FBI have facilitated the procurement of explosives even. The risks involved in these high-stakes setups must go without saying, if anything goes wrong, people die. Take for example the gun-running scheme conducted under the operation name Fast and Furious. Acting under the theory that weapons could be used like a medical tracer at a hospital, guns were injected into the cartel system by federal agents that sold them to the gangs in the hopes that they could trace them back to the organization. The results were abysmal and people died, some of them were border agents. Assange had more to say. The FBI is giving guns to the mentally ill to attack people then leaping in to save the day, cameras rolling. What a bunch of jerks. Linking to an article from Business Insider, Assange conveyed one of the darker tendencies of federal agents, encouragement. In many cases, agents will seek out people who have somehow demonstrated radical views, and then coax them into plotting an act of terrorism, often providing weapons and money. Before the suspects can carry out their plans, though, they're arrested. And Last March, The Intercept profiled 25-year-old Sami Osmakak who was broke and struggling with mental illness when he became the target of an FBI sting operation. The FBI provided all of the weapons seen in Osmakak's martyrdom video, The Intercept reported. The Bureau also gave Osmakak the car bomb he allegedly planned to detonate, and even money for a taxi so he could get to where the FBI needed him to go. Paddock, independent or encouraged? Now. This leaves every sane individual with a number of questions left unanswered. First, if the sheriff believes it was impossible for Paddock to have acted alone, who helped him? And, second, 
What if the federal agents were in contact with him? Finally, why would Assange choose to tweet this information out now? Aaron Rouse, the special agent in charge for the FBI's Vegas investigation is likely the only one that knows the answers to the questions keeping many American up at night. He also doesn't seem inclined to reveal them anytime soon. During his recent statement before the press he seemed quite annoyed at some of the questions being asked and very reluctant to field any at all. It was almost as if he was ashamed. Dot, but there's one troubling possibility. The FBI was involved or at least aware of Paddock prior to this incident. They could have egged him on, they could have failed to arrest him when they planned to, or they could have misread the immediacy of his intentions. Regardless, if that is the case then this tragedy could be as simple as the FBI not arresting him when they should have all because of their dirty obsession with quarterbacking terrorism. Together we will make America great again. It is time the truth comes out on more than just this shooting. We the people are no longer willing to be complacent and silent. The Julian Assanges of the world exist for one reason and one reason only and that is to provide truth regardless of party lines and political affiliations. More of us should be doing that very same thing. Truth should be sought from every direction. We know the left and the Democrats don't have a whole lot of truth to give, and many Republicans are becoming just as bad, but we can and should be holding them all accountable to honesty in the highest sense.